back to A and Day 5 Minute Fun. Today I'll be painting this mason jar and making it into a pencil holder. You have probably seen a lot of people put videos about this and I'm adding one more for you guys to watch. What I am painting on the mason jar requires very few materials. So first of all, the mason jar. And then a paintbrush, um, somewhere to put my paint, and then my paint. Let's get started. You don't have a mason jar? No worries. You can use a glass or a plastic jar of any size, and it could just be a pasta sauce jar. So go grab your materials and let's get started. I'm painting a white coat on the mason jar before I paint the real coat because um, the glass needs a coat to lay on and I'm giving it white so then I don't have to do many color many layers of the color. I'm done doing the first coat and it's with white and I did it with like a sponge brush so the paint lays nicely. It's very bubbly so when I go in with my next color or my color I would go in with the top, I'll do smooth strokes and make it look really nice. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I will paint this next coat. Now the paint's dry and I'm going in with the yellow coat. After the yellow coat, I will put more decorations on it. I finished painting the yellow and I liked the way the yellow was, so then I drew a smiley face on it. Two circle eyes and a big wide mouth. And now I'm going to go with over it with black. I'm putting polka dots to give it more pizzazz. Not many because I use I'm using a big sponge. You can use any shape or size. This is the final result of the mason jar and I put a little face and a couple polka dots. It made it a pencil holder. You can do any color that you like and it can be an accessory for your room if you want to change them. It's just beyond your imagination, you can go with what colors you want. This is only one style of what I've done. Some other jars I've made are ones where I've put plastic plants on it and I just painted it very simple with a couple flowers. This is one. Another one is where I painted it solid color and I added a couple attachments. I haven't put anything in this because I liked it just the way it was. And this one is a 3D jar. And as you can see, it has stickers that make it pop out. And the plant I've put in it is a potos plant. You can put a mint plant in it too, but I chose to put potos. I used a mason jar here, and it was a new one, but these three right here are recycled pasta sauce jars. You can do glass or plastic, any shape. You, I bet you can find them in your kitchen. Please subscribe to our channel and comment down below what you thought of this craft and if I should do others like this. Hope you guys enjoyed watching.